Lola friends, Dapper Jabber here, and welcome to another nonchalant Nuzlocke day. Um, we are continuing where we left off, which I just gotta remember right now, which is we have Victor, Rufio, and Smalls on our team. Let's go ahead and put uh, Smalls in the beginning so we can start uh, leveling up Smalls. So just making sure that everything is straight here should be good to go. So let's go ahead and continue into Halloween City and uh, we might even get another uh, we might even get another encounter today. So here we go, Halloween City right there. The beachfront property. It's a little blue still. But like I said, this uh, lighting still trying to adjust, uh, but it's starting to look pretty good. Um, it looks like it's not as blurry to me. She's running to the beach. Slowpoke, stay away. Beach time, yeah. And here's how we teach. This is how they teach you how to say hello. I say this hey, hello this way. Every time I enter a video, guys. So we're running over. We're learning how to say Alola. And let me see if I can uh, get this to focus just a little bit differently. It's all grainy now, right? Yeah. It's a little grainy, but that might be okay. If I focus on the bottom, it, it looks way worse, right? If I focus on Rotom, it's worse. Alright, so we're going to lock it like that. Then let me teach you a proper way to greet someone in Alola. Alola! Give it a try too, just like that. Alola, you make friends if you say it. I hope to say it all the time. Halloween's so big, let's have a walk around. You'll be doing the walking, of course, but... I know this guy will be doing the walking. Alola! So very cool. There's not much to do in this first part. Everything's kind of blocked off. Alola! You on vacation here, young friend? Or perhaps a trial goer? I guess I'm a trial goer. Well, you're most welcome to Alola either way. In fact, why don't you take this? Oh, we got a potion, guys. A potion. Right off the bat. And blah, blah, blah. Words. Words. Words and things. Actually, let's go down to the beach and hang out with Hal. Because I think there's an item right here. So let's get item. It's a Pokeball. Wingles drop stuff. That's nature. Boom. This is funny. Look, catch! Would you stop? I know they're squishy, but there's no reason to throw a Pika Muka at you. Throw a Pokeball if you must throw something. That's funny. Um, I thought there was something else down here, but I don't see anything else. So we are just going to go on. Moving on and going to see how. We're about to go see how. And then about the photo club and all that jazz. Hey, Dapper Drappy, I thought I'd recognize the sound of those feet. Hey, you guys. So, what do you think? Halloween is something, eh? Lola's got a best place. Got to be the best place ever to live. Oh yeah, look at this! Hey Dapper Drabby, come here with me! I've got a good idea on something you could do! He is just so excitable! Wow! Hey, miss, is it true that you get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Dex? My goodness, the news travels fast. Hardly anyone has a Rotom Dex, but it's true that we have a special item to go with it. It's your very only Pokefinder! Here you go! Can I skip this part? I don't need Pokefinder. I don't want Pokefinder. Awesome! Isn't it awesome, Dapper Drabby? You got the Pokefinder! So, like, what's a Pokefinder? The Pokefinder is a tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon. Rotom will help point out places where you will be able to take photos, too. Here, I'll read the instruction manual. Tap the R button. Yep, it's that simple. Quite simple. Man, Rotom Deck is so cool! Yeah, it's like another partner, Dapper Drabby. I mean, the top... I mean, on top of your partner Pokemon, of course. 
Oh, yeah, I guess since it's Rotom inside, it's pretty much a partner Pokemon, right? Either way, it's pretty darn lucky. Meet you outside when you're done here. Bye. The photos you can snap in Pokemon with Pokefinder, they're simply too cute to resist. Okay. So what's this guy say? Hmm, hmm. Well, look at you. You're a fine Pokemon trainer. I've got something to ask for Parmesan. What do you say? Uh, I'm listening. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful kind. You hear? You see? I'm here to do some research on various Pokemon. I need to record the differences between 10 species of Pokemon for my server sample. But I've been working so hard that my back is just killing me. But when you came along, you looked like a simple young trainer with just the sort of person I need to help me. I'd like to ask you to catch 10 different species of Pokemon for me. It's not too much to ask, right? Good luck out there. Uh, what does our Pokédex say? We've caught six different types. On Melee Melee. So, I mean, we're not too far off. Four more routes, and uh, we should be right on the money. We can get those uh, that present from this guy. What does she ask? Melee Melee Islands, Melee Melee Meadow. Home to wondrous bird Pokemon, that's what it says. Okay, enough reading. Enough reading. What's Hal gonna say? Hey, you guys! <laughs> Deborah Drabby, how? Do you feel, did you just visit the Taurus Bureau? How was it? <laughs> wow, that voice. We got a Rotom Dex upgrade, and now it takes pictures, too. <gasps> what a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. Let me see. Cheese. Flash. Huh? <laughs> what was that for, Rotom? Go and put your little trickster back in your bag, Dapper Drabby, and follow me. Time to get some Melisana. Enough feasting for your eyes. It's time to take care of our stomachs. I'm so hungry. Hungry. Maybe Rotom wanted to take get your attention because it wants to take photos with you. I think I'll stop by the apparel shop to do some shopping on my own. That's right. We get to change clothes in this one, guys. We're going to change some clothes. Let me get the little tutorial from this guy. Hey, dude, look at this. You're lucky you got a pokey finder. Then I guess I'll give you a little helpful tip. Look at that hole in the wall that I made. Look at a spot cracked in the wall. It's a photo spot right there. You can look for growls and Pikachus and all that jazz. Look at that. We're just trying to help and give you a tap. So what they're saying is... uh. Oh, tap me when the icon changes on the map, and you'll start snapping some photos. So what they're saying is when you go up here, you'll get that little indication on the bottom that says camera. You hit the R button, and you can fire up the Pokey Finder. And, uh, you know, adjust. Take pictures of that Pikachu. And you can just kind of snap like crazy. There's no uh, zoom on the first function, so you get more zoom as you go on. I think we're gonna get this one. It's gonna get like no photos. Oh, look, a thousand likes. Uh, I want that many likes on this video, guys. I want that many likes on this video. Got it? That's the thumb that's the thumbs up goal. Uh, I'm just gonna close Pokey Finder for now. We are gonna continue in the adventure and try to catch another Amon. This guy just says more stuff that I'm not interested in, so we're gonna run away. What do you think, kid? Did you enjoy the Pokey Finder? Uh yeah. I'm gonna use my finger because I don't have my um stylus on me. Good to hear. You're free to use it whenever you want a chance. Let's keep exploring Halloween, not to lose me. All right, partner. So let's go see Lily first. She's going to be picking her clothes, it's unlike her mother. Look at the apparel shop. Let's change some duds, guys. Uh, do I dress myself? I don't know. Am I dressed? Do I wear clothes? I don't know. Let's go inside of the apparel shop. Oh, she's give me some lens. Some lenses so I can change my eyes. I need to change my eye colors. Looks like we have something in common now, don't we, Dapper Derby? Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee. 
It's a totem sticker. I want... I want t-shirt first. So let's see what we can wear here. Yeah, shake to the music, shake to the music. 33,000 is what we have. We can get the... Uh, I guess this is the top, isn't it? Um, so we got the white shirt, the black shirt, the red, yellow, orange, pink, oops, beige. We got the white tank top, the black tank top, red tank top, yellow tank top, orange tank top, pink tank top, beige tank top, and the plain white tee. Wow, we got, so I guess... What should I wear should be my question of the day, if there's a question of the day. Should I wear a t-shirt, a polo, a tank top, or an Alola shirt? And you guys can make me look as silly as you want. Um, and if you guys want to say a color, just say a color because they're... Ooh, here we go. Surfing tank. Collegiate tank. Flower print tee. That's pretty cool. Casual bike stripe. So you can look like you're... Uh, a Lola counterpart from the previous game. Oh, we're back at the top. Let's just go with the random flower print tee, I guess, for now. Let's go to pants. We want different pants. I don't look good in shorts. So I guess either black or uh, beige capri pants. You know, black black is the best. So we'll just we'll just do black. Now shoes. I guess we just do black crew socks, socks, right? It doesn't even matter. You can't see them. And they have a different hat, the Tribly hat. Uh, I think we're fine with the hat we have on right now. I really do like the Tribly hat. But, uh... For now, we'll, we'll keep that, that hint of red for everybody. Maybe we'll be able to do some different stuff later on. There we know, we look different, so... If you guys have a suggestion, uh, I think in my other game, I was in, I'm in a polo shirt and stuff, so... This girl, this lady right here will give me silk scarf, which is pretty nice. There we go. We got these silk scarf. Now, I would go into the haircut place, but I don't feel like getting a haircut right now. I think the long shaggy hair is about what I have right now, so we're going to wait for a little while to get that. Rotom is down. You tap him, and you just say Lola so that he gives you a little heart. Just saying hi once a day makes me feel all right. Look, the, the salon in the apparel shop. I'm going to turn myself into a new woman. I've been itching to go shopping, but the shopping mall's closed for renovation. <laughs> Just make her a smoker, right? <laughs> the more you walk with your Pokemon, the friendlier they grow towards you. And the more you use Pokemon on me. There we go. Now we can start collecting those totem stickers because we talked to Alima. Oh, Michael Kane. Greetings, Captain Alima here. So you've spotted me sticking up one of these lovely stickers, have you? That's a sticker? <laughs> oh yes, if a young child will collect these stickers as they travel through and follow the paths they indicate, they will quite naturally progress along their island challenge. Really, if I had to describe them, I would say these stickers really save trial goers like you. Because I am lost and I cannot be found. But I cannot let my guard down. Those Team Skull thugs have had far too much fun time. Fun, have had far too much time on their hands. And they're always trying to get in the way of trainers on their island challenges. I have to keep my eye on them to be sure they don't take down my stickers. I've actually just had a report of Team Skull was seen making trouble around town. I suppose I should ha go have a look at them. Well then, young Dapper Drabby, I hope you have a delightful time running about to search out and collect totem stickers. 
Collecting totem stickers sounds like fun, huh? Got another totem sticker, yeah. Let's talk to this guy. A journey is made by those who travel with you, and compassion makes the go world go round. Let me share it with you, a young trial guy. A heal ball. So we can heal something when we catch it. Pokemon you catch in a heal ball will have their HP restored at the maximum level. They'll also cure any status conditions they might have. Alright guys. Time. Time to catch something new. Time to catch something new. Let's add... Nope. This guy to the party. Let's hope we can add this guy to the party. Is it a duplicate? Is it? Is it? What is it? What is it? It is Mr. Mime! It's the Mimey Mime Junior. Yo. This is actually not a bad mon to add to the team, because he's a very psychic type. Okay, let's scratch him. Come on, Smalls. Smalls, you are significantly weaker than Mr. Mime Junior. I think we can go all out with Mime here. Meditate. Uh-oh, he's raising his attack, guys. I better throw a Pokeball soon. And we want to throw that Heal Ball. Actually, let's make sure we catch them. We're going to throw a Great Ball here. We want Mime Jr. on the squad. Two and three. So, what should the name uh, be? I mean, I like in the in the card game that he's a bench barrier. So I'm wondering what I should call him. Ooh, Small's gaining some levels off the Mime Jr. We're going to add that data to the Pokédex. Look at that, Mr. Mime Jr. <laughs> I'm so tempted to call him James from the, from the anime. So, let's read the Pokédex, guys. Mime Pokémon. It does its absolutely best to mimic the movements and expressions of its opponent, but it's still not very good at it. It'll get better. It'll get better. It's going to learn the uh, the move Mimic and just be OP. So, it is a female Mime, so I can't name it something like Krusty or something. Um, Mime Junior. Mr. Mime. Should I say made some misses? <laughs> It's a Mrs. Um, I don't know what the name Mime Junior. I'm gonna name it Carol, I guess. Sorry for any Carols that are offended by that, but that's why I'm spelling it with a K. It's like Carl, but with a K. <laughs> Alright, so it's Carl with an O. Carol! Apparently, I like my K's today. I got Victor and uh, Carol. That's what I was here for. A revive. Uh, we can't use that. Abra. Now, okay. Just because I played the game a little bit before, there's a lady that asked for an Abra in the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch Abra and then box it, cause that is a rule I'm gonna make, is I'm gonna catch these things for prizes so that I can, uh, you know, get that money. We're not gonna use Abra. But it's gonna help, uh... To be honest, if Meowth was faster, it would have taken out Abra anyways. But Abras are usually not that easy to catch. But wow, what a first thing. It uses various psychic powers. Even when it's sleeping, you can tell whether or not it's awake. Um, yeah. I'll nickname it. Not mine. Okay, guys, let's go back to this Pokemon Center. I believe the lady is in there that's going to give us money for Abra. Ah! I can't stop running into stuff. And a lowland meow. Come on, Smalls. I think you can beat it, Smalls. 
Um, but I don't want to make this last forever. So let's send out Victor. Ooh, that attack fell. That's like, because I was going to use Vice Grip. He was like the Quick Claw Pop. So it's a 3 hit KO. Ah, oh, he's going to just keep growling. If he growls one more time. Quick Claw Pop again. So we're going to take on Elima and Team Skull in the next episode, guys. Uh, we're just going to head back to the Pokemon Center. Heal our party. Uh, gain some money. And, uh... Sign off, I guess, because it's, uh, it's about that time. Come on, ah. It's supposed to be a three hit KO, but he just kept growling. Now he's biting us, and we can't move. Come on, Victor, break through. You gotta break it through. Like Latios, break it through, man, break it through. Vice Grip taking out that Meow, gaining some experience, and getting to level 10. Nice. And he learned Bite. Very nice. Smalls gained to level 8. So that Meowth was worth it. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, here's that lady, I think. I'm in trouble with the run. Hey, are you a trainer? Do me a favor, sure. Pretty relaxed and laid back, a bit too relaxed. I'm wasting my time in my life. So I want to learn from a speedy way of Pokemon. Uh, speedy way from a Pokemon. I heard there's a Pokemon called Abra in the tall grass. Can you catch one for me and register it in your Pokedex? I heard they're so speedy it runs away through instantly. And uh, if you keep your word on it, uh, I'll find and find one for me. Then I'll even pay you for your trouble. So we just talked to her again. You caught an Abra? Then show me. It sleeps 18 hours, and it teleports while it's off while sleeping? Oh no, that won't work. Life is short. Sleeping most of it is such a waste. But it would be nice to move fast while relaxing while sleeping. So here's what I pay for it. And so we just got 10... I'd say $100 for that, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk to this dude. It is 23 o'clock, guys. Get some lemonade for $1.98. Just them. We've mixed up all the different kind of berries and make it special lemonade. A refreshing sweetness might just swallow you up. You have Pokemon battles with your friends and with people you don't know. Battles can get so hot you completely lose track of time. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This is a chocolate and it's ridiculously sweet. It's a sweetheart. What is it, Valentine's Day? Drink our lemonade. We'd like to offer you something on the house. Some pokey beans. Pokey beans are especially the Lola, and Pokemon love to eat them, blah 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 blah. Please come again soon. Now Rotom looks tired again, so let's go ahead and wake him up. Dude. No, 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 don't, don't talk to this guy again. Don't talk to this guy again. Um, let's go ahead and deposit that Abra that is not on our team. And say hello to the new member, which is Mime Jr. So all these guys will go in this one, the Oops paint box. And we're going a little over what we were going to do, but let's, before we go, check out the newest member of the team, Carol. We got Pound, Confusion, Copycat, and Meditate with Filter as an ability. Reduces the power of super effect and attacks taken. That's not bad. You can be defensive. A very uh, special attacking nature, special defense lowering nature. Pretty decent speed, 20, Psychic Fairy type. So, very cool, very cool. Mine Jr. named Carol. Um, just go ahead and heal, and we will end it off today. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys like the series, be sure to leave some comments. Let me know if this is getting better. Is it uh, starting to look better? I mean, I'm still in the first town. But, uh, and I think we're on episode, like, 8 or something. But, uh, it is what it is. So, thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been 
Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.